This Family TV Mass is offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation. Good day, dear brothers and sisters. We welcome everyone as we celebrate the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time, with the theme, The Prayer That Conquers God's Heart. The Mission Communications Foundation Incorporated of the Society of the Divine Word, SVD, brings to you this Eucharistic celebration at the Salita Hall of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, E. Rodriguez Senior Avenue, Quezon City. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Emil Lim, SVD. And as one community and family gathered in Christ, let us all begin our Eucharistic celebration. Let us praise the Lord and gather in His altar to worship His name. Come, let us pray, let us open our hearts to receive His blessings and to feel His love. Let us kneel down and thank Him for all that He's done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, dear brothers and sisters. And thank you for joining us in this family healing mass on the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And we have a beautiful theme for today's readings, and that is on persistent prayer. But before we proceed and continue in this Eucharist, let us be mindful of our unworthiness because of our many sins. And if you have offended anybody, particularly God, let us be sorry for them, confess them to the Lord, and humbly ask God to forgive us. For the times we have failed to acknowledge and proclaim that God is the Father of us all, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the times we have failed to treat all human beings as our brothers and sisters, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For the times we have failed to share with our neighbor the breath of our forgiveness and solidarity, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank 
Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. From the dramatic dialogue between Abraham and God, we learn the importance and power of the prayer of intercession uttered by a righteous person. But we also learn that God's mercy has to be matched with our effort to live according to his moral demands. The first reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days, the Lord said, the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grave that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes to me. I mean to find out. While Abraham's visitors walked on farther toward Sodom, the Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were 50 innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the 50 innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find 50 innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again. See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than 50 innocent people? Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. But Abraham persisted, saying, What if only 40 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of the 40. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only 30 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I find but 30 there. Still Abraham went on. Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than 20? The Lord answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the 20. But he still persisted. Please let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least 10 there? He replied, For the sake of those 10, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. 
In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk amid distress, you preserve me. Against the anger of my enemies, you raise your hand. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. The Apostle Paul reminds us that it is through the intercession of the crucified Christ that our merciful God has granted us forgiveness of our sins and a share in his reason life. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism in which you were also raised with him, through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead, in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him. Having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We honor the Holy Gospel. Jesus taught his disciples the importance of prayer through his words and example. In today's gospel passage, we have the Lucan version of the Lord's Prayer and a pressing exhortation to present our petitions to the Father with trust filled perseverance. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. Now I said to them, 
Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his hand a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, dear brothers and sisters, greetings to all of you. Our theme of the readings that we heard in today's Mass is about persistence in prayer. First, the importance of prayer. I'm sure I would already be preaching to the choir, so to say, if I reiterate or hammer on that theme dahil lahat naman po tayo nagdadasal. Kaya nga po kayo kasama namin sa misang ito because we are all prayerful people. We believe in the power of prayer. Pero just to illustrate it, there was a beer house. Alam nyo na, yung beer house, so ill repute yung beer house. And all the Christians in the town does not like the presence of the beer house in their place. So itong mga, mga Kristiyano, no, they, they, they went and demanded to have a prayer meeting doon sa loob ng beer house. No, eh, pinagbigyan naman nung ano, hindi pa nga naman na bless yung beer house, kahit beer house, pinapabless. And so, pumasok yung mga Kristiyano sa loob, and they, uh, they have a prayer meeting, and so, uh, masaya at talagang mad, madibdiban ang kanilang pananalangin doon sa beer house. When suddenly, after a while, there was a big lightning, and the beer house was struck. Tinamaan yung beer house at nasunog yung beer house. Buti walang nasaktan. Kaya yung may-ari ng beer house, idinemanda yung mga kristyano. No? So pumunta siya sa court at idinemanda yung mga kristyano sa amin dahil nasunog ang kanyang business, nasunog ang kanyang beer house dahil sa dasal ng mga kristyano. Eh, of course, yung mga Kristiyano, eh, bakit na, ba't kami sisisihin mo? Ba't na kami sisisihin dyan? So, eh, sa kanilang diskusyon, ay nasabi tuloy nung judge. No? Sabi niya, alam ninyo, no? isa lang ang conclusion ko dito, yung may-ari ng beer house, naniniwala sa panalangin. Yung mga Kristiyano, hindi. <laughs> well, o nga naman. If we pray, we believe no? that God will grant our prayer. Kahit naman po ako, mga kapatid, I believe that every prayer is listened to and answered by God in His own way, not necessarily our own way. Sa ating mga readings, I, I would like to, napakaganda ng first reading, yung uh, classic uh, bargaining prayer ni Abraham at ni Yahweh. When, when Abraham was praying for Yahweh, no, for God, to spare Sodom on and Gomorrah. No, bakit naman kasi ito si Abraham? Eh? Di ba kat napakasama ng Sodom and Gomorrah? And yet, eh, ipinagdadasal niya pa na masave yung Sodom and Gomorrah. Eh, actually, may dahilan siya dahil meron siyang kamag-anak doon sa loob. Kaya nung sinabi ng Panginoon na parurusahan niya ang Sodom and Gomorrah ay lilipulin niya ang lahat ng doon at dudurugin niya ng apoy, no? fire and brimstone. And si Abraham interceded and and bargained with the Lord. At 
Mga kapatid, just for the sake of studying it, I hope you would read it again. Yung from the book of Genesis chapter 18. May mga Bible naman tayo sa bahay. Buksan nyo nga po yan para hindi maipon ng mga alikabok. And go to book of Genesis chapter 18. Just that portion. No? Or, or kung may isang buhay kayo, halimbawa, misalet, then basahin nyo uli just to study how to pray. Because Abraham have a very creative way, let me just say it, of negotiating. Magaling ba kayo sa negotiation? Oh. Pero Abraham was very good in negotiating. And he did his prayer in a parang negotiation way. Look at this. No? First, Abraham was very intelligent. No? When he negotiated, he praised God first. No? Sinabi niya kaagad, no? uh, sabi niya, Lord, Uh, suppose uh, he, 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 he invoked the justice of God. Sabi niya, would you allow no, the just to die with the guilty, to perish with the guilty? Oo nga naman. So he used the justice of God. Very intelligent, very creative too. Then secondly, Abraham, uh, in, in raising God's wisdom, then he puts himself down and humble. And so he said, uh, please uh, excuse me, I'm only dust. Sabi niya, wala akong karapatan, pero I'm only dust and ashes. But I, I dare to uh, ask. And so he bargained again, and the Lord relented. You know? So yung humility in prayer, in negotiation, very important. Yung kanyang approach, hindi pagmamataas, kung hindi pagpapakababa. So, he is very intelligent, invoking God's justice, and then he was also very humble. Then thirdly, he was very persistent. He continued on. He did not stop at 40. Sabi niya, nakatawad na ako. O, oh, tama na yun. Ah, hindi, sige pa. Sumigi pa. So, Abraham was very persistent and continued on bargaining with God. Fourthly, then Abraham convinced God not to be impatient. Sabi niya, Please, Lord, wag ka naman may impatient sa akin, ha? Pero uh, tinuloy niya pa yung kanyang bargaining up to 20 and so on and so forth. And then, Abraham never gave up even up to the end. Kahit sampu na lang, no? hindi pa rin siya nag-give up. So, for the sake of the ten, God said, uh, I will not destroy the city. But you know, if you read, continue, continue reading on that chapter uh, from the book of Genesis, you will realize that God indeed destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Siguro meaning there were even less than 10 good people in the city. Now, there's a lot of things we could learn from that, dear brothers and sisters. Number one, the power of prayer. Kahit nag-iisa lang si Abraham, iisa lang, it's not a community, hindi yan malaking parokya na nagdadasal, hindi buong mundong nagdadasal, hindi yan kagaya ng Oratio Emperata na ilang taon na, dalawang taon, magtatatlong taon na, dalawang taon na nating dinadasal. It's not that. Nag-iisa lang siya. It's the prayer of one person. And yet look, even the Almighty listen to the prayer of one. Very important to realize. Then secondly, you see yung intercession, hindi naman para sa sarili niya eh. No? Para sa kamag-anak niya at para sa mga tao. He prayed for other people. And I hope we would remember that too, dear brothers and sisters. Let us pray for others as well. Wag lang yung pang sariling pangangailangan natin. Kung hindi, yung pangangailangan din naman. If ever, mas nakakabigay ng value yun sa prayer natin. When God knows that we are not selfish in prayer. That we pray not only for ourselves, but we pray for other people. And look at the answer of God. Kahit nagdasal si Abraham, as, I, as the story will bear, uh, God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because God answers in His own way, not necessarily the way we wanted it, but He always answers for some good reasons, for some good reason. And that brings us to the lesson of today's gospel, which is rather long because Jesus used so many ways of Uh, giving the lesson of the importance of prayer and persistence in prayer, hindi tayo gigive up. Yung final, which is anecdotal sa atin, sabi nga eh, ask and you will receive, knock and it will be open to you, uh, seek and you shall find. 
Kung ilang matandaan natin in our prayer. And if we, Lord, I claim what you promised. Sabi niya, ask and it will be given to you. Oh, let's claim it from the Lord in our prayers. So yes, let us be daring in our prayer as well. Knowing, confident that we have a God who is loving, who is just, who is forgiving, who is generous, and always attentive to our needs. And so, dear brothers and sisters, no, tinan yung ating oracio emperata, no, uh, mahaba pero two years na that dinadasal natin at dadasalin pa rin natin because in God's own way He answers. Could you imagine if we did not pray that? Baka mas marami pa siguro nagkasakit. Baka mas marami pa siguro na matay. Thank God. I mean, of course, we're sad that lives have been lost and that the virus still lingers around. Pero kung hindi kaya tayo nagdasal, baka iba yung outcome. So let's think of our prayers, our powerful tool that really connects heaven and earth. That it is the way by which we connect with God and in somehow influences you know, God's decision and how to act on us. So, dear brothers and sisters, pray and pray always. Amen. Let us profess our common faith as we say, I believe in one God. God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Encouraged by Jesus' exhortation to pray with persevering trust, let us submit to the Father our humble petitions for the needs of all mankind and our own. And let our response be, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, bless the church, your family on earth. Make her the spiritual guide of all peoples, leading them to generous cooperation. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Father, bless Pope Francis and all our religious leaders throughout the world. Make them instruments of your fatherly love for all. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Father, bless our families and make them havens of sincere love, solidarity, and peace. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Father, bless the sick and the dying. May they find in your love the strength they need to endure their sufferings in union with Jesus. We pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. For the family thanksgiving prayer of Malu Agkawili, Liwayway Mascardo, Maria Cristina Samano, Grace Aquino, Nemencio Alvarez, Claire Esguera, Rosita Sudario, and Ruth Pasqua. For the birthday thanksgiving of Francis Victor Corporal, Cristina Venturina, Crici de los Reyes, Brasilda Gamo. For the wedding anniversary of Ariel and Erica Marie Mangalinao. 
for the healing prayer for Francisco Ong and Patricia Laureta, for the death anniversary prayer for Ong Guat, Vicente Ong, Ruth Cabatu, and Honrado Samano Sr. For the eternal repose for the souls of Corazon Sio, Franco Ilagan, Akihiro Takano, Volet and Jose Vuvienco, and Emiliano and Lorenza Maravillas. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Loving Father, do not look at our unworthiness, but at the sincerity of our love. Grant us the grace to persevere in humble prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that mine and your sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all, his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, <clears throat> the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, Agrippina, Noli, and all the souls that we remember and pray for in this Mass who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to pray. Oh, 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. 
Grant them health in mind and body. Strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Feinadamitz, pray for us. Holy Family, pray for us. Prayer for the unity of the family. God, our Father, loving and merciful, bring together and keep all families in perfect unity of love and mutual support. Infuse in each member the spirit of understanding, forbearance, and affection for each other. Keep quarrels, bitterness, and pettiness far from them, and their occasional failures, instill forgiveness and peace. May the mutual love and affection of parents be a source of loving obedience and discipline. May their chastity and fidelity be an inspiration for their children. Instill in children such self-respect that they may respect others, obey their parents and those in authority, and grow in mature independence and the tender joy of friendship. Make the mutual affection and respect of families a sign of Christian life here and hereafter. Through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, once again, thank you for joining us in this Family TV Mass. And I hope that you would continue following every Sunday this Family TV Mass, Sa One Sports of TV5 every 6 a.m. And then also Sa Family TV Mass social media platforms, Sa MCFI, SVD Media Facebook, at doon po sa YouTube. Hanapin nyo lang po, search nyo lang po yung uh, Family TV Mass. At muli, maraming salamat din po sa ating mga production crew that help us make this Family TV Mass always available for you at home. Please keep safe always. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in the love and the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
This Family TV Mass was offered by Achievers Fuel and Service Center Corporation and Planet Drugstore Corporation.